I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. It was like my trap house. Don't talk about my babies. You should find something else to yap about. If I push that button, killers coming. You gon' tap out. They be wearing blue and red and black and love the cash route. Air it out. Muggy line, so let's clear them out. They been wanting to know. Coming close, let's tell them about conspiracy. They want to give me two conspiracies. Hoping I snitch about some. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, because we got to speak. Salute to the subscribers. That notification, GameRightsGameClothing.com. For the merchandise, you heard me right. So... Salutes to all of the battlers out there and everybody that watches this content. Uh, Calico, Miss Sue Surf, having a little exchange about some things. If you don't know, Calico, Sue Surf battled a long time ago. Calico battled Hitman on, and this is what it's about. It's about Calico, it's about Hitman, it's about Surf. Calico battled Surf on Snoop Dogg's Gladiator School. Calico actually smoked Hitman on there. He actually kind of smoked him. I'm not going to hold you. But uh, they get into it today, and the conversation starts here. Um, it starts with XL. Salute to XL and everything that he's got going on, personally and professionally. He's on King of the Dot now, doing his thing in the tournament. He won his first round battle versus Eddie I, which is a very good battle. And now he's going on to face none other than Head Ice. But this is where it starts at. I just want to pick up with y'all. I'm not going to go through everything. I want you to, you know, I know the part that y'all want. So XL says, homie, I should have said, homie should have just said, XL, I respect your pen or would like to battle you one day. Or A, I respect you and want to battle you. I'm trying to get a bag for you to come down here, but nah. And then Calico jumps in and says, not to be hyping shit, but I honestly think Marino would beat you. Um, and then he says, okay, glad to, you're entitled to your opinion, my G. Uh, Calico then says, um, how much he need to battle you? I'll back him. And I understand your frustration. You feel like you don't have the right to talk in that manner when he's done nothing for the culture yet. I get it. But in Detroit, we're bred with a different aggression. Marino versus Excel. Okay, that must be another Marino, not Don Marino. It's Marino from, from Detroit. So then, uh, Excel says, all the aggressiveness don't bother me and I do it. But I'm in this King of the Dot tournament, and I don't want to half-ass it in your league and use that as an excuse so I can do it after I whip all these other niggas, and that's real shit. So then Calico says, I swear I respect this answer so much, most guys would have not responded to this. Much respect, bro. Go get that money, and then we'll figure it out. I'm damn near ruined for you after this response. This is attorney. I'm about to go get, go check out. So then Excel says, nah, bro, I'm about integrity with this shit. I'm not a take a check nigga. I, if I can't show up 100%, I ain't showing up. Because if I lose at 75%, I hate it. Because my mind will always be like, you was playing, laugh my ass off. So then this is where it gets spicy. Calico says, 100, that's good, bro. You're not making the same mistakes at Sue Surface. Still making 11 years in 100, 100, 100, 100, saying, this is what Calico basically calls out Sue Surf. Sue Surf says, you wake up on niggas' dicks, why are you tagging me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is a Marino, the uh, Chaldean from Detroit. So, um, he says, you wake up on niggas' dicks, why are you tagging me? So then, Cal says, I've been up a couple hours, I brush my teeth and shit. And Surf says, what would be a reason you wake up riding niggas' dicks you battled already? That ain't gonna make you no, no bigger champ or make you no money. Cal says, nah, I can easily battle Hitman or Surf on the URL platform and get a 30 to 40K. You don't see the reasoning in that or you want to ignore it and make a valid point for you and Hitman who I never battled on URL. Surf then says, you can't battle me or Hitman when you want. Save the antics, my nigga, please. The only difference between you and these niggas is you actually outside. Battle rap wise, you make no calls, bozo, stop. Then Calico goes on to say, as long as you know I'm nothing like these other niggas, just know you niggas could never beat me. I'm y'all boys kryptonite. If I battled y'all 10 times on God, 
I would win 10 times I got y'all number. Then someone said, he always talking like he forgot you smoked him. Then Calico says, he'll never forget. Interesting convo. Interesting combo between Calico and Sue Surf. Uh, Calico was an MC, still is an MC, you know what I'm saying? That when he first came through the Ultimate Rap League, Calico was that next guy. Like, we, like people s quickly forget that Cal battled Mav Hoffa on that, first, on that Summer Madness joint and got him out of here when Mav was like the biggest name or one of the biggest names in New York at the time. Calico then got loaded Lux. Like, he, when he was in his rookie shit, he got loaded Lux. It was like, yo, we had to put loaded Lux against the hottest up-and-comer, and that was against Cal. You know, regardless of how that went, the most legendary battle, he gonna get this work. Got me slipping like my sneaker slide. Let me get a grip, then we gonna put that pressure on him all night and keep applying. We still cannot forget the fact that he got him. He did. So, Cal is saying that he could get a 30 or 40 piece to battle Hitman or a Sue Surf. And Surf is saying now that he's basically making the calls. And, you know, people started talking about him losing to Lux. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sue, that's, that's going to be people's standing point. That's the reason why I say when it comes to the battle rap shit, you have to take your battle serious because when you lose, niggas are going to hang your losses over your head and use that as their ammunition every time they start the dish. And what they dishing is you wishing, like, let's get it correct. So... He's saying that he could lose to Surf and still, I mean, he could lose to Lux and still make big calls to still get big money. Now, that's only happening because of his profile and what he's bringing as far as popularity, views, and um, making money outside the culture and what he's got going on musically. If, that, if he was just average old MC, yeah. trust me, they would have went away from this shit by now. But, but I must say in regards to comebacks and what Calico has been able to do to, for himself, he's had suitable situations were battling just Avert recently and a lot of people had Calico beating Avert regardless of how you may call it a lot of people when you check the polls you check the votes and all of that other shit in the app people had Calico winning now if Calico was doing that bad and was not good anymore or couldn't do shit at this level people wouldn't have him pick to win or didn't have him pick to win so he's now coming to clean up and get some of that paper that he hasn't got from battling Actively, because a lot of the guys like the Tay Rocks, the uh, uh, who else? Tay Rocks and uh, more so T Tops and Arsenals and a lot of these guys they battle often. Every couple months they on a card, so they continuously get into that bag. You got a guy like Cal. He hasn't. He's he's battled. He had ill will. Uh, he just had Verb. He had Briz a couple years ago. But he's not battling every couple months. So if he's getting a 30, 40 piece. If he's getting that kind of money, of course you're going to kick up dust and try to start shit with people to try to get battles booked. Especially if it's against people you beat before. Because he beat Surf and he beat Hitman. But it was in the Gladiator School. You know what I'm saying? It was it, like a lot of people don't like to count the battles that happen on other platforms. And I get that much. But at the same time, what do y'all think about the first person they compare to somebody showing up at 60-70% being inconsistent or consistently inconsistent is Sue Surf, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he talks the biggest game, he gets the biggest looks, he garners probably the most views or a lot of the most views because of what he's able to do for himself. So you could like, the one thing you could never do is you can't say he don't know how to market himself. You can't say he don't know how to brand himself. And he's got the best music out of battle rappers. Sue Surf's music is, is head and shoulders over anybody else's in battle rap. Like it's relatable music that you could, I know people who listen to Surf's music and know Sue Surf as a musician. They be like, oh, he battle raps? There ain't too many other people who it's the other way around. Like this dude at my job, he was listening to Sue Surf's music. He didn't even know he was a battle rapper. He's like, yeah, I, I picked up on his music. This guy, I like the Sue Surf guy. And I was like, he's a battle rapper. They say he's a battle rapper. Like, what do you mean? So when you switch the narrative, they, that, that, that shit's crazy. But uh, Cal gonna have his, his, his ground to stand on. He's gonna talk his shit. Whether Calico is up or down, he's always gonna talk his shit. You already know he gonna talk his shit. So let's get to it. What do y'all think? Who, who would y'all like to see? I would more so like to see Calico versus Sue Surf again over Calico versus Hitman because there's no big stages right now. And I'm not saying that, Cal that Hitman can't do his thing in a small room. I just don't think he's gonna be coming down to do 
any of these small room volumes. Save uh, Hitman for the big stage, because whoever stands in front of that man, in front of a large crowd, it might, it might get a little crazy for him. But I would definitely like to see the Sioux Surf versus uh, the, the, the Calico again. Oh, I would like to see Calico versus Charlie Clips, because they got a lot of shit. They don't like each other. They talk crazy about each other. Calico, just, I mean, Charlie Clips just took shots at Calico in a little record that he had. And then, you know, Calico was talking crazy about him on the, um, on the, on the, on the, what was that? IG Live, they was going, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if Cal released a record, but I know he was talking shit about Clips. And they don't like each other anyway. So, I think it's good for Battle Rap when Calico is active. Because these guys who are in their positions, they market themselves well. They talk shits well. They have good brands. And I think it's good for Battle Rap. But other than that, you already know what it do and what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. We got a lot of joints coming out. We're just going to push all the content out because the fans want to see it. They're definitely watching it. You know what it is. Gang. It was like my trap house. Don't talk about my babies. You should find something else to yap about. If I push that button, killers coming. You gonna tap out. They be wearing blue and red and black and love the cash route. Air it out. Muggy line, so let's clear them out. They been wanting to know. Coming close, let's tell them about conspiracy. They wanna give me two conspiracies. Hoping I snitch about some shit that's not involving me. Robberies. They wanna judge me for my past. Strip me from my babies. Dirt my name up in that paper. Damn. Damn. Guess I'm guilty of being a good nigga. Positive moves. Still my closest. His dogs are hood niggas. Cut them off for who I wish I would, nigga. The law ain't never did nothing for my hood, nigga. Nah, and I don't care about how I look. I ain't scared to speak my mind. I ain't playing it by the book. Fuck them. They said I ran and left my baby. They put guns around my baby. Heartless fools said they blazed me and I was unarmed. Wasn't resisting, causing no harm. But they convinced me that they shoot and leave my blood warm on the pavement. Yeah, right in front of my baby.